Hello, Kyle Shanahan. Hello, John Lynch. What are you guys doing here today? Why are you guys here? Why are you not at North Dakota State's Pro Day? You're not there. You sent some scouts, which is great, but you guys should be there. I mean, I understand you wanted to be here and you don't want to miss a single quality control session because they're fantastic and you learn from them. I get it. Still, you should be at the freaking pro day. I mean, and there's two ways to interpret your absence. One, you are zeroed in on some other player and you're not doing all of your homework, just like 2017 when you were zeroed in on CJ Beathard and Kirk Cousins and didn't really do your homework on Patrick Mahomes. I mean, John, you went to Patrick Mahomes pro day, but Kyle, you didn't go. So you really didn't do your homework. You were, you had tunnel vision. You were dead set on someone else that you didn't get. This, is that what's happening here? Are you, are you dead set on what? Some other guy and you're not, Sam Darnold. <laughs> and you're not even going to do your homework on Trey Lance. The guy's thrown like 280 passes since high school. You've probably never seen him throw a pass in person. You don't, you didn't want to go. The other way I could interpret it is that you really like Trey Lance. He's your guy and you don't want to tip it off. You don't want people to know that that's your guy. And you're saying, you know what? We're not even going to show up. We'll send a lower level scout, but you're going to draft him. And then in which case that terrifies me even more because I've watched a lot of Trey Lance too, and he ain't the one. I was just watching his pro day on NFL Network and Daniel Jeremiah compared him to Josh Allen. He's not Josh, Josh Allen. If you think you can turn him into Josh Allen, you're making a huge mistake. So you should have been there so you could see it for yourself. You didn't. I'll give you the cliff notes of what happened. He threw a lot of passes. There was no defense. People thought he looked great. Here's what I see from Trey Lance and why I think he's going to be a, a, an abysmal failure. I like Josh Allen coming out. Josh Allen played at the worst school, Wyoming, in his conference and was under siege every game, running for his life. Uh, that was not the case for Trey Lance. He played at basically the Alabama of Division II football. North Dakota State wins the national title every year. They're stacked comparatively. Uh, and then also, so that's why I don't really put much stock in his stats. And then when you look at his physical gifts, John, Kyle, I'm talking to you guys. You look at Trey Lance's physical gifts. Hell of a runner, big guy, strong arm. But he's horribly inaccurate past 10 yards downfield. The stats bear this out. He's okay when he throws little short passes because he stands straight up and doesn't get his legs into the throw. It's just all arm. But when he tries to throw more than 10 yards down the field, he drops his weight and tries to generate power through his quads by dropping his weight and pushing off like he's on a mound. Um, do you know any other quarterbacks who do that, who drop their – so what you see is a guy in the pocket who's like constantly dropping his head. He's like – it's like, oh, time to throw downfield. You know what I'm saying? He drops his weight. And what, that, what happens is you have a guy throwing to a target whose eyes are moving. So he's inaccurate. He's always going to be inaccurate. And they, sh they showed him today like, hey, man, he tightened up his stride. First of all, okay. Second of all, he still drops his head when he throws. It still leads to erratic throws. And when he's in a game, live action, he's going to revert to what he's been doing his whole life. That is muscle memory. I'm sure coaches have been trying to drill that out of him for years. It's not going to happen. He's going to be an, a really, really inaccurate passer in the pros. That's not who you want. I'm telling you, don't do it. I'm afraid you're going to take him. You guys are giving me that look right now like, yeah, we're going to do it. There's a reason we weren't there. We didn't want people to know. He's Josh Allen. He's going to be great for us. He's like a worse version of Carson, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is abysmal from the pocket. Everything about his mechanics is wrong. And he's terrible from the pocket. But when you get him outside the pocket and he can throw on the run, all of those mechanical issues kind of go away and he can just be an athlete. But you can't roll out a quarterback every time. That's Trey Lance. In the pocket, his, his mechanics are abysmal. He's horribly inaccurate beyond 10 yards. But if you roll him out, all of a sudden he's not dropping his weight and throwing. His eyes are on. He's moving, but at least his eyes are on the same plane. 
his his motion is actually more repeatable on the run than from the pocket. Trey Lance. Guys, don't draft him. I'm trying to help you. Okay, enough of Trey Lance. You should have been there at that pro today, though. I had to watch it for you on NFL Network. <laughs>